نقلب على خدمة ما محتاجاش العوينة It's been a long time for sure. It's been since uh, since May that I first screened at Cannes, and um, I'm really excited about it uh, being released in Morocco now. It's a very particular emotion because uh, the film is finally being uh, released in its uh, country of origin. Uh, it's meeting its uh, natural public, and uh, I'm very, very, very touched, uh, and I can't wait uh, for it to actually come out. I think that above all, uh, what made this movie resonate is that it's a film that uh, deals with a, with a, something that has nothing to do with a, where you come from. Or I mean, it's a film that that is uh, really anchored in a social context, which is a Moroccan social context. But at the same time, there's something uh, very universal on the emotions that it talks about, uh, be it uh, maternity, be it death, uh, birth, uh, and that thing that there are these things uh, that bring us together, regardless of where we come from in the world. The reason behind this choice is that I wanted to make a film that uh, um, was very intimate. Uh, I wanted to dig under the skin of my characters, to really delve into their souls, to search for their truth and make it uh, um, come out uh, through the image. And uh, that was the reason why I had all these close-ups, why there is all these uh, uh, scenes also that um, impose their own rhythm uh, it's a film that is not necessarily uh, about what happens in the narration but it's all about the interior of these characters it's all about the, how they evolve uh, in interiorly um, how uh, they transform each other's lives and uh, that's why i wanted to, to have a camera that was there to observe them, but also to be part of them. I wanted us to feel them breathing, to feel them thinking, to feel them feeling things. I really wanted to, to, to be inside their, their bodies, inside their skin, under their skin. Oh, definitely, there was a lot, a lot of work with the actresses. Um, I don't like rehearsing uh, emotion. That's something I don't like to rehearse because I like to keep it uh, spontaneous and natural. But of course, there was a uh, you know uh, rehearsing the, the the movement, the action, and everything. But the real work with the actresses was about the uh, understanding of who these characters really were, uh, who these women were, what they really felt, uh, how they evolved. It's also a film where there is a real. Uh, it, it's very important in this film that the emotion evolves the way it should evolve uh, and so it was also about knowing where to place the emotion and in order to make it evolve uh, in the sense that I wanted it to uh, so that was something that we were very careful about and like I said it was a lot about understanding who these women were uh, so Lubna Zabal and Nisreen Aradi spent a lot of time uh, with women that resemble their characters uh, Lubna Zabal spent a lot of time in the Medina, speaking with women that were working as uh, local bakers as well, uh, observing them, observing their their, their everyday lives, uh, listening to them, learning from them. And Nisreen, a lot of time as well with the um, with the young unwed mothers, uh, nourishing herself from their realities, their truths, what they had felt, uh, their their stories. And for me, that was extremely extremely important that they be as close as possible to the characters they were they were playing for me they are scenes that are filmed in a sensual manner and an organic manner i'd like to say for me it was all about about the emotion that they portrayed uh the scene with the dough for me was essential because this woman has been needing her dough for so many years uh, but at the same time she's she's absent you know, interiorly she's not there. And it's all about her reconnecting with this dough and in this sense reconnecting with herself. Because for me, this is a way as well of, uh, of, of talking about her, her interior transformation, her evolution, and also rediscovering her, her, her part of femininity 
And that comes with the scene of the dance as well, where she is faced with that which hurts her the most. And that comes in, in a very, very harsh manner, because I think sometimes uh, to be brought back to life, we have to be faced uh, um, by, by the things that hurt us. And it's not always uh, in a sweet or soft manner. Sometimes you need to be shaken up, and that's exactly what happened. So these two scenes were key for me, really key, especially the dance scene. Oh, I really hope this movie will help contribute in in in, uh, in changing uh, in changing mentalities, uh, in changing people's perception. And I think that if you change people's perception, you you you, you help change. The the laws can only follow, you know, um, because the laws might change. Uh, not necessarily the way we want them to change. They can take time, it can be slow. But I think what counts is to change people's hearts and to change people's vision. Uh, if uh, a few people come out of this film saying, well, I'm never going to look at a young unwed mother the same way, you know, that for me is a victory. And I think that, you know, is a real, could be a real contribution to making things evolve, to, uh, you know, being part of this debate that is already taking place in Morocco, because in the last months we've seen the, the, the how people have risen uh, to defend also their, their, their personal freedoms. And I think that, that this film can be, uh, can help contribute in that sense. I think now is the right time for Adam because there are some things that we have to talk about because there are some things that where we can't just, uh, I mean, we can't sit around and wait anymore for things to change. We need to, to act. We need to take things into our own hands. And uh, I think that, you know, people are, like I was saying before, civil society is actually uh, acting, reacting, you know, to, to all the things that are happening around us. So uh, Adam, you know, it wasn't written like this, but Adam has met its uh, its uh, its time, and that is something very beautiful when when you realize that that a film meets its time. If I can talk about about difficulties, I think that one of the difficulties was shooting in a such a small space for five weeks, uh, shooting and preparing because there's a preparation beforehand. And when you're a team in such a small space, uh, you know, it's not necessarily easy, but we had a wonderful team. We had a wonderful team uh, at all levels. And so there was a, there was a great energy on, on the set and that, that, was, that was something very important for a film like this. Also, uh, it's a film where there isn't a lot of, uh, of, uh, of action. So just being able to, to keep the artistic line uh, in this closed space uh, and not lose track ever of how things were supposed to evolve emotionally was a challenge. Uh, and also artistically, because there's also the whole artistic aspect. You know, it's a film where uh, uh, visually, you know, everything is very, very thought. Uh, so just to, to, to keep all these things uh, advancing together and not lose track of, of where you want to go can be a real challenge. But I mean, it, it was once again, I, don't, I wouldn't qualify it as a difficulty. I would qualify it as a challenge. What I'd like to say is that Adam is a very intimate film. Adam is a personal film, born out of a real need, a uh, real desire to, to tell the story of this woman that I had, that I had met uh, before. But Adam, for me, is also a film that, um, although it comes from the inside of something that I've felt myself, that I hope will be able to touch other people, and I hope will be able to, to, to make them uh, question themselves uh, regarding certain things uh, where, to which they might have a certain resistance, uh, especially when we're talking about uh, unwed mothers in a society that sometimes can be a, a great and generous and beautiful, but extremely unforgiving as well. Uh, so I think, I mean, above all, what I'd like for people is that when they leave the theaters, uh, they ask themselves the right questions. And if these characters touch them, touch their heart, uh, that they 
that this film can help change their perception, uh, change the way they look at these women, and, uh, and maybe give them also the courage to, 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 to speak up about the way they feel about things, because I think sometimes we feel things, but we don't speak up, and it's important that we speak up, all of us speak up, you know, to, in order to contribute in bringing about a real change. <laughs> <laughs>